mutiny in the Russian army. Soldiers refused to fight. Relatives of those mobilized from Primorsky Krai, from Kamchatka and Sakhalin applied to the leadership of the Ministry of Defense of Russia and the heads of their regions arguing that arbitrariness and lawlessness is happening at the front. According to them, the servicemen of the 60th Brigade were first put in a pit for several days for refusing to fight, where they were kept without food and water and the day before they were taken away in an unknown direction. Sibir really replied earlier the command promised to send the mobilized to offensive from which they will not return. As confirmation, the wife of the soldiers also published a video where several people are in the basement. Those who recorded the video message also claim that their relatives who were mobilized back in September last year did not receive proper training. They have been on the front lines for 10 months without weapons, equipment. Now there is no connection with those who refuse to fight. According to some reports, they could still be sent to Bakhmut, as the military leaders promised earlier. According to Astra, the wives of those mobilized on July the 6th met with the command of the unit. Before that, their mobile phones were taken from them so that they could not record the conversation. When the relatives began to ask questions about the sellers, the commander said that those who came were lying and that this cannot be. According to the interlocutors, they did not receive a response to a single question. Other mobilized from the Altai, Primorsky territories and Yakusha claim that they are being forced to return to the territory controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine to the village of Novodarovka. According to the military, they do not have food, medicine and ammunition. According to the Telegram channel Caution News, those servicemen are threatened with criminal cases. In the video message, they also complain that they are on the front line for the 10th month without rotation and vacations. According to the military, since the beginning of June, they have been standing near the village of Novodarovka of Zaporozhye region. As a result, out of 106 people of the company, only 40 remained. Now the mobilized are being forced to go back to where they retreated from. Now they want to drive us there without heavy equipment, support. All the things that the army gave us were simply bombed. No shovels, nothing. Our doctors have no medicine, no bandages. The wounded boys had to lie in the bushes for more than a day, the mobilized say. They also complained that they have not received cash payments since January.